Hey everybody, this is lecture number four for the subsea pipeline design section. And in this section, we'll be looking at span analysis. So pipeline spanning occurs when when the line loses, when the contact between the pipeline and seabed is lost over a considerable distance. So if this occurs, it's a uh, normal normal code requirements require you that require that the line be investigated and checked for excessive yielding, uh, fatigue, and clash with human activities, and these may include like fishing. So this is just a, a schematic, just a representation of a some spanning. So you may have the seabed over here, seabed, and there may be some change in elevation. So the pipeline loses contact with the seabed, and this is the, and you have the self weight of the line, and you may have some longitudinal load, and then so the span length is shown over here. So if the span length is um, it's it's of a considerable distance then there could be some issues that arise so as a designer you have to take a look and calculate an allowable free span how much are you gonna going to allow and if the actual free span is greater than the allowable free span then corrective measures must be taken and these corrective measures can be very expensive and these corrective measures are intended to somehow reduce the span. Reduce the span. So because it is so expensive to take corrective measures, it's very important that, uh, that, um, that the analysis be realistic and that the designer, that the engineer takes it into account the actual seabed conditions and doesn't assume something that's too uh, conservative because that will lead to uh, ex uh, greater cost for the project. So when you have a pipeline span and there's some type of wave and current flow around the pipeline span, uh, especially perpendicular to the line, it generates uh, sheet vortices. And this shedding, vortex shedding from above and below, causes the pipe to oscillate up and down. And so you can see in the figure, you have these little vortices coming around, and these lead, and these may cause a pipe to oscillate up and down. So the vibration direction is up and down. So the key thing here is to make sure that you avoid resonance. And resonance is when the frequency of the vortex shedding equals to the natural frequency of the pipeline span. So if resonance occurs, the vibration can be amplified greatly. So the displacement of this pipe, can, it can move up and down a large, um, relatively large distance. And this can, an excessive uh, vibration especially large distance vibration can lead to fatigue failure and cracking of the concrete coating if there is concrete coating so typically uh, shedding frequency the calculation of shedding frequency is done using traditional mechanics but you have to also take into account the effect of the of the seabed and how close it is so take into account effect of seabed and then the calculation of the span frequency is has traditionally been done using simplified models uh, but recent uh, recent theories have suggested that these simplified models may be too simple. So for that reason, multiple span analyses need to be performed. And this is the end of lecture four on span analysis. Thanks.